morning everyone welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna be vlogging the whole day i honestly have so much to catch you guys up on i feel like i haven't done a vlog in a while so today is the perfect day too because i just got back uh to brisbane late last night from melbourne and i have some very exciting news to share with you about that whole experience hello peanut did you miss your mother did you miss your mother yes you did yes you did He's so clean, it's actually a problem. Thank you. <laughs> Something's wrong with that kid. <laughs> I feel like three dogs is just like a lot to deal with. You know what I mean? <laughs> Guys, can you please like stop? Thank you. Okay, so straight into the bathroom. We're gonna do my skincare routine before I start the day because my skin is super dry right now and I'm, I have a very strict skincare routine um, that I really want to share with you guys. So this video is sponsored by Vanity Planet, so thank you so much. You guys know that I've been working with Vanity Planet for such a long time now and I would never promote products that I don't actually love and use. So this is called the Ultimate Skin Spa. So this is what I use every morning and then at night time I just use my hands. So this is what it looks like right here. This one is the silicone head and you can change it um, around because there's two other alternatives. So we have the um, exfoliating head and then also the daytime uh, cleansing brush that isn't too harsh on your skin. But I personally like to use the silicone brush head just because it feels really nice. And because my skin is super sensitive, this one's the best for my skin in particular. And then once a week, I like to go on with the exfoliating one to get deeper into my pores. So what I'm gonna do is just wet this brush. I'm just gonna put a pump of my cleanser on here. So I'm just going to pop this on the first setting. It feels so good as well. I like to use this to get all the skincare out of my pores from the night before because at night time that's when I usually go in with like a lot of skincare products because as I said before my skin is super dry so I have to put lots of oils and stuff on. Obviously I don't want to clog my pores uh, the following day so I like to go in with this and just make sure everything is out of there so I can make sure no breakouts or anything happen. Um, so no like build up of dirt and sweat will be left in my pores because it's the last thing that I want. I don't need any more breakouts because I already have enough from hormonal problems. I don't need anything caused from like bacteria or anything. I feel like I've been in this time era for ages because I'm really trying to concentrate on what I'm actually saying, but um, they have a massive holiday discount for you guys at the moment. If you use the code Kashani70, you can save more than 70% off. So you can get this for $39, which is super cheap. And I just think it's perfect time for the holiday right now because it'd be the perfect gift or something you can just like introduce into your skincare routine because it's super affordable and it works really well. I like to get my skin nice and glowy. Got to get all of that junk out of the skin so then we can put some new skincare products on there, which I'm going to do. Oh my God, that really got the blood flowing in my face. Now you can see all the acne scars, but that'll go down. Um, I'm just going to do the rest of my skincare, um, which I will run you guys through soon. Another video because I have a lot of products to share with you guys. Okay, so I went to Melbourne a few days ago, right? And I was kind of like deciding if I wanted to move there or not. I was kind of like, oh, like 50-50. I, I had no idea. Hello, darling. Hello. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so I was trying to figure it out. And then while I was there, I was like, okay, I'm going to go look at some houses just so I have an idea of like what houses are around. So I went and looked at a few and there was one that I really just like fell in love with. I was like, I could actually imagine myself living here. So I put the application in just to see and I got approved the next day. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'm moving then. Like, I don't know. It's, I just kind of wanted like the universe to decide for me, even though I have not one up with the application in. I got a boyfriend recently. It's very fresh, very new. Um, I'm sure you guys know if you keep um, up to date with like my Instagram and stuff or like Snapchat, probably will post the most on Snapchat um, about our relationship. But yeah, for the most part, it is quite private for now because it is so new um but he lives in melbourne and it's honestly the worst doing long distance relationships like we've tried it for i mean we've been like i guess like trying to do it like this for like three months pretty much since we met to be honest because it just all happened so fast i'm sure you guys can relate if you've done long distance before but honestly the only time that we ever like a big heart or anything is when we're not together because of the distance. We're like, we don't know when we're gonna see each other next. So I don't know, when I miss him, I get super frustrated. And then he started doing the same when he realized that I might be living in Brisbane still. Cause I actually really love living in Brisbane. Like I'm obsessed with this house and you know, obviously my family's here and stuff. Um, and, I, and Michael and I didn't want to leave, but it's just been three months of like 
fuckery honestly it's just been so frustrating traveling there all the time i'm there most of the time anyway so i just need a house there and then i can come back here every two weeks to see my family and see all my friends and stuff so i feel like i'll have more quality time with my family anyway i don't think that's going to change um the only thing i'm worried about is like seeing michael um a little bit less which i don't want to happen so i have to make sure i make the effort to fly here and he said that he's going to do that for me as well um, I'm only living in Melbourne for like nine months and then I'm going to either move back here or move to like Sydney or something. I just feel like it's time for a change and um, I just feel like my life will be a lot more stable if I'm there because I was there a lot anyway. And yeah, it's such a big decision. That's why I was trying not to like, I was just like, I'll just apply and if it happens, it happens. And if not, I'll just stay here. I don't know, long distance relationships are very hard and this is something that I'm willing to do for him, which is fucked because I would never, ever, ever usually do something like this for a person, for a human being. What's going on? What's happening to me? I don't know. It's very dramatic. And the most common question is, is Bindi moving with you and Peanut? Of course they are. I'm going to drive them down in the car because there's no way I'm putting them on a plane. There's no way, you little princess. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll come see you all the time, Lily. Don't even stress. It's time to make some breakfast. I just went to the worst and got some breakfast, lunch and dinner for today because I want to be super organized. Mum's coming over to help me pack. Speaking of the moving thing, there's a few other things I want to touch base on. I'm going to go like through everything and make a whole video about it anyway because obviously it's such a massive decision. I'm kind of really telling you like bits and pieces, but um, I'm not like there's also other reasons why I think it would be good for me to move as well um, So Chloe lives there. I've been best friends with her since I was literally in school So it's not like I'm leaving everything behind. I'm leaving a lot here, but then there's also a lot in Melbourne as well for me um, But as I was saying, I'm gonna be back just as much anyway I don't think it's gonna make me see my family less at all. So that's not something I'm worried about um, And then at least when I do come back home I'll be able to spend more quality time with like Hayley and like my family because I'll be actually sleeping there because I don't have a house to come back here to sleep. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, see ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. Yeah, so obviously I have Chloe and I have a few other friends there. I have my whole management team there. Um, and there's a few exciting things that I want to do in the new year that they're gonna be helping me with. So that's gonna be fun. And I just feel like friends that I do have there are really good with like gym and like routine and being healthy and I just love being surrounded by positive energy like that. She's coughing her pants up. Lena, are you right? Verbal? Um, yeah, so I feel like it'd just be amazing to surround myself with people like that and I love them so much. I just, I don't know, I just feel like it's time for me to like make a change in my life. I've been here for so long and I don't know, I'm just trying to get a little bit just a bit comfortable, I feel. So something different could be good for me. I don't know, to be honest, like I didn't even originally want to move, but it was like, it's only nine months of my life and all that can happen from this experience is for me to grow. The heart who wants what it wants. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh God, I'm so annoying. I'm just um, putting some makeup on because I have some work to do. Um, my whole family's here, by the way. Katie wanted to come in my video, which is my little brother. You coming in? <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Except for Christmas? Yeah. I'm thinking we're gonna go to like the Gold Coast or something for Christmas. I'm just gonna like book the family a place to stay. It'll be super fun. Cause it's not very often that we're all together all at once. Cause my parents separated when I was younger and um, the kids go to dad's on the weekends and then mum's during the week. But we're all really close. Like we're all still really close friends, but it's still good to have us like all together in the same place. Okay, um, could you take some photos for me? Yeah, I'm yeah. back with that. Yeah, you are, you're so good. Okay, I'm gonna go take some work photos and I'll see you guys soon. I'm so obsessed with these for extensions. Oh my God. So I was just on the phone to people that move um, furniture interstate and I had to call a bunch of different people because I need it to be the cheapest it can be because it's so expensive moving. And because I'm only moving for nine months, I just feel like I just want to save as much money as I can because it's not like a permanent uh, move. Oh my god, I pick up. So pretty much turns out I can't move until after the new year. So that's the update. Everything like that is sorted. It took me so long to do that. So I was doing like all morning this morning just like on the phone to like all these different people, filling out all these different forms. It was so annoying, but just so excited to eat some lunch. So it looks like Christmas has come 
a little bit early. I just went to the PR box. Well, mum went to the PR box for me while I did some work. And I have so much stuff here. So I'm going to show you guys a few things. So um, the thing that I'm excited about the most is this stuff from Gymshark. Um, this is the first time I've used their stuff. Well, I mean, I've borrowed Chloe's before, but... How amazing does this quality look? I've been looking for some really good active wear for a while now. Something that has like good support. So this looks incredible and I love the fabric. Oh my God, I cannot wait. Are you kidding me? I love neutrals. <gasps> that looks perfect for me. Wow. <gasps> There's so much. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> oh, wow. That one's good too. This one's Palm Beach, White Rose and Jasmine. Did you like that one? Yeah. Mm, that's nice. Well, thank God, because I'm out of my glass house caramel candle. We have heaps of stuff from Boohoo, because I'm working with them again. I love their stuff. We have MAC, BH Cosmetics. We have some lashes. Ooh, they look divine. Very excited. Food by Nature. We have Too Faced, High Smile. Oh, my God. There's literally so much stuff here. What the hell? Oh, this perfume is the best. I already have this one. Oh, my tan. <laughs> I already have this one, but this is a new um, bottle, like a limited edition bottle. It's Alien. It smells so good. Lush. Oh, my God. Zoeva. Oh, this is Christmas. Oh, this is honestly the best soap in the world. I'm making Asian noodle salad. I literally used to live off this because it's the easiest thing in the world to make. I can just put more in. Oh, yes. What about those seeds? No. Oh, the pine nuts? Yes. No. no. I think this is enough nut. I mean, front. <laughs> Crunch. And then we just had chicken in. Oh, also, this is the Gymshark outfit. Um, I put makeup on when I, I put makeup on the top when I was trying it on, so I kind of ruined this little patch here, but I just found um, clean it to try currently. But how amazing are the fit of these? I have to say, this is probably the best quality of um, workout clothes that I've ever tried, so I'm really excited that I've found them. And I'm gonna live in this, I honestly swear to God. I am so excited, so now I'm gonna do some work. Oh. I just got sent this like foundation thing that talks. Look at Peanut. Hello, Shay. Your foundation looks awesome. <laughs> Bimmy, what is it? Bimmy, Bimmy. What is it? Hello, Shay. Your foundation looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So it is 8.30 at night and I've honestly been sitting at this desk since like six hours ago. I've been literally sitting here just like doing heaps of work. Um, I put up a Instagram post today that was um, asking for resumes for people that were interested in helping with silk. I mean, I got 300 emails in a few hours and I'm like, that's enough. I'm going to have to delete the post and go through them all because um, that is a lot of emails and oh my God, it's just honestly so much work running a business. Like keeping up to date with YouTube and Instagram is already like a lot of time. Don't get me wrong, I love it so much, but running is like a swimwear line as well is like hectic as. Um, I'm going to make a full video about Silk Swim. If you guys don't know, I just came out with my own swim line. I'm so obsessed with it, it's my little baby. I love it so, so, so much, and I'm learning so much along the way, but yeah, there's so much that I wanna to talk to you guys about regarding that, um, so that's really exciting and definitely taking up a lot of my time. I've been doing that for the past few hours as well as everything else, but um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It was super chill. It was pretty much just me catching up on some work and, you know, just literally a normal day, nothing too exciting. Um, but yeah, I'll be vlogging over the Christmas time as well when I'm with my family and stuff. So that'll be like less work and stuff and more just me going out and having fun and doing random things. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you all so much. Um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my god, I cut my nails off by the way. Well, I got them removed after the video I did with Michael. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. It's the worst video that I've ever done. But it was it's funny for you guys, but for me I was like, this is so embarrassing. I lived a day in Michael's life. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs>